So we've stored a bunch of looks in various places on the console. We've looked at queues and groups, uh, but we also stored some looks in our submasters. So let's look at how we play that back. It's actually a very simple process to play back um, on submasters, but there are a few key things to remember when using submasters for playback. Uh, remember that on a desk like a 4896 or a 72144, we're going to have our dedicated bank of 24 submasters. On our 2448, the bottom row of 24 can be submasters. And on the Express 125 and 250, uh, you have two banks of 12 um, on the left-hand side, which are your submasters. And all of these will behave the same way as I'm going to describe here. Um, if you remember, we recorded our submasters by bringing up some levels using our keypad uh, and, and or our faders. And then we hit the record button and the button corresponding to the submaster page. One of the things that we want to remember before recording and or playing back our submasters is to make sure that we're starting from the same submaster page. Um, the console can actually support 10 pages of submasters and it's indicated up here in our global settings area of our display. And it will tell you right below Grandmaster, subpage one. If it doesn't say subpage one, we want to go ahead and put the console into subpage one. And the way to do that um, is by using our keypad. Uh, there is a page button. Uh, which is up here next to the Q button uh, and to put our console into page one we hit page and our command prompt will say select submaster page to load and then press enter I'm gonna hit one and enter and now I can be sure that we're in submaster page one once we have that we're ready to play back our submasters and the way to do that is just by raising the fader any channels that I've recorded into the fader will will increase in level depending on where I have the submaster um, in its range of travel. So for instance, as I push up Submaster 1, as I approach to, you know, all the way up, you'll see that I've got channels 1 through 5 at full in the Submaster, and I can run the fader up and down, and if the fader's halfway um, up, the channels will roughly be at halfway or right where they are. Um, in my Submaster 2, I have five different channels. I actually have channels 6 through 10 in this Submaster. Uh, and it will behave the same way. So I can use Submaster 1 to do 1 through 5 and 6 uh, through 10 or on Submaster 2, and I can mix and match and create multi-layered looks by layering in Submasters. One of the things to also to remember about Submasters is that they behave in a manner that we call HTP, or Highest Takes Precedence. What this means is that if a channel is in two or more Submasters, that channel's level will be determined by the Submaster who's higher. The higher level will always win on an HTP system. Uh, what that means is, uh, for example, in my Submaster 3, I have channels 1 through 10. All of those channels are in my single Submaster 3. But remember, 1 and 2 have subsets of those, 1 through 5 and 6 through 10. So let's say I bring up my Submaster 1 to 50%, halfway up. Now as I bring up my Submaster 3, which contains 1 through 5 and 6 through 10, you can see that 6 through 10 are going to fade up as I'm pushing my fader up. When I get to the halfway point, now the two submasters are equal. As I continue to push up submaster 3, you'll notice that the 1 through 5 that were originally set at 50% on submaster 1 are now going higher because I'm pushing submaster 3 all the way up to full. Hence, the highest takes precedence. As I take submaster 3 back down, Channels 1 through 5 are going to stop at 50% because that's where my Submaster 1 is loaded. And if I pull that out, the channels go out. Submasters are a very convenient and useful way to play back looks on your Express console.